everyone. I hope you had a great week and staying healthy. As many of you know, running has been a part of my life for over 40 years. And during that time, I have had periods where I was just firing in all four cylinders, healthy, you know, just cruising along. <laughs> But I've also had a lot of stretches uh, during my running career that I've been injured. I have had stress fractures, I have had muscle pulls. Basically, if there is an injury for runners, I've had it. So I just wanted to briefly mention to you that now uh, during this stay-at-home order is a really, really good time to focus on some of those extras, whether it be stretching or strength training, just whatever you need. Most of us have just one area of their body that's weak. So for me, well, I have a lot of areas, but my Achilles is weak. I'm extremely inflexible. So thanks to my good friend and tri-coach extraordinaire, Tina McDonnie. She has gotten me started on some online yoga classes and that has helped me tremendously. And I admit, I am what I would call a cardio junkie. I would rather go run, walk, bike. Uh, I gotta go run. Mom, wait, I... Oh. Do anything except for, and not strength train or do flexibility, basically because I'm bad at it and it doesn't feel comfortable to me. But just really getting consistent with these yoga classes for me has really, really helped tremendously. So I encourage you, you know, over, you know, this week, the next week, start thinking of something that would help you with your running to help you stay injury free, maybe just make you uh, have a longer stride or just something that is a positive impact uh, for your running. So that's my advice for this week for you. So workout number four, let's get going. So this is really one of my favorite workouts. And I know I have a lot of favorite workouts, but I really like this one. Uh, we're gonna do sets of 800, 400. So for the distance version of it, we're gonna do three to four sets of an 800, 10K effort. Then you're gonna do 60 seconds timed recovery. Uh, no sitting down. <laughs> but if you want to walk around, if you want to jog a little bit, that's fine. And then you're going to come back and hit a 400 at 5K effort. Uh, so once again, we're doing some gear shifting, but 810 k effort, short 60 second rest, stay true to the rest, come back, hit the 400 at 5K effort. And then after that, you have a longer rest, 400 meter active recovery. So a little bit, the recovery this week is a little bit of timed rest and a little bit of active rest. So three to set, four sets of 800, 400. For those of you that are using your watch, like I like to do, you're gonna do three to five sets of three minutes at 10K effort. Then you just have a 60 second recovery, active recovery, just like the distance folks did. And then you're gonna go back with 90 seconds at 5K effort. And then you have a whole two minutes active recovery after that. So you're gonna do three minutes on, 60 seconds recovery, 90 seconds on, then you have two minutes recovery. Uh, I think that's it for this week. I uh, look forward to hearing about your workouts. I have heard some great things and it seems like everybody is progressing really, really well. So stay consistent. I know it's hard to stay motivated, but do the best that you can just to keep these things rolling along. So have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Thanks.